Hey, how's everyone doing? How's your suburb been so far? So we're going to take a look at a TOEFL speaking task one question that appeared on yesterday's exam. All right, the Saturday exam. Uh, so I believe this was on the offline version. So let's see. The question's asking, is it important for a leader to be a good speaker, right? Why or why not? Okay, so uh, for this one, I decided to actually uh, say it's important. So I'm going to put IMT, keep it, uh, keep it short and simple. And then here, I decided to go for a two reason, um, two example approach. You don't have to, but I felt maybe we could do an excellent job using this version. So here I have like, uh, obviously leaders need to be able to, uh, you know, people should be able to understand uh, the leaders, right? So if they don't have good speaking, they're not going to understand what they're saying, right? They're not going to know. And if that's the case, if it does happen, hypothetically speaking, the leader's not going to get any results out of that. Then for the second reason, um, it was kind of similar, just a little bit different here. So uh, a leader needs to have excellent speaking ability, speaking skills, because uh, they need to be able to attract people's attention. This isn't necessarily about um, people understanding them, comprehending what they have to say. But this is more like, am I interested? Okay. Am I keen on listening to what this guy has to say? And, you know, if they don't have that, if they lack this particular ability, well, they're not going to be interesting for the people, right? Their potential followers. And then what happens? Well, they're not going to care. And the entire effort was a huge waste, right? So let's take a look at this. Well, I believe that. Well, I definitely think that, right? Um, template, it's super important for a leader, so really important, uh, to be a great speaker for two main reasons. Now here we go into the first, which is a must. First and foremost, leaders need to speak in a manner, in a way, where others can understand them. And what happens if that doesn't happen, right? We're thinking about the consequence at this point, not necessarily giving an example here. Otherwise, they won't know what the leader is talking about. As a consequence, so what is the result of that, right? They won't follow the leader's orders. Well, that's bad. Um, you know, it's not good. Now you introduce the second reason. What's more, right? We have a contraction. A leader needs to have excellent speaking skills. Why? Because they need to catch people's attention. So again, this isn't necessarily about understanding here. Now it's actually about like, are they interested in what I have to say? Uh, if they're unable to do that if they're incompetent, right? Then nobody will be interested. Now, I'm going to teach you guys something advanced and tricky. <laughs> you could even change nobody to nobody will. Really difficult to pronounce though. Nobody will be interested in what they have to say or offer. Consequently, this is the same thing as, as a consequence, but I wanted to paraphrase, tweak it a little. Their efforts for action will go to waste. Because of these two reasons, this is a because sentence. It's a kind of complex sentence, right? So you get a little help for your grammar criteria. It's necessary for a leader to be a brilliant speaker, an excellent speaker, right? So I just paraphrased there. Hope you guys like this one. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon.